Hello and welcome to India Post Live, but it's actually not India Post Live, it's on India Post Live, it is actually What the Football. That's right, we're here, we're going to talk about the World Cup 2014 coming up in Brazil and all things in and around it. Joining me today, as always, is my good buddy Chaitanya, who's in to give me all the action, and Mr. SS Hakim, who is an Olympian, a former coach, a referee, been there, done that, been to the, been to the legend in the house. Back. Legend in legend the house, in people. The house. Legend in the house. <laughs> Raise the roof. Uh. Before we get cracking in on the action today, we're just going to wind you up with a little bit of a nice little montage that we've put together to summarize the spirit and the power that is the beautiful Brazil. Have a look at that. Enjoy. We'll see you in a second. Nosso jeito, é claro. Se bora na sede. Se liga no meu papo pra não perder o compasso. Não vem atrapalhar meu samba. Já te avisei. Puxa na moral. Pra não cortar a minha onda. Chega devagarinho, fica bem no sapatinho. Aqui a nossa chave esquenta. Olha o visual. Sente o nosso astral. Com a gente não vai ter problema. Vai ver. O pagode firmado na palma da mão. Vai ver. We got a real feel of the samba right there. This man was just saying we should have heard that song in the World Cup album. I think that would have been quite Dancing nice. Dancing the entire tournament away, wouldn't we? Indeed, indeed. So it is Brazil. It is Brazil. A magical, magical place to have football. It is a magical place to have the World Cup, no less. Sir, you've seen the World Cup longer than any of us watching. In Brazil, what does that mean? To, to everyone, what, is it, what does that mean for it to be? What's so special about it being in Brazil? Football is not only the culture, it's religion, part of religion in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Every child knows how to play football. They, if I'm not wrong, they play on, on the roads, the squares there under the lamp, they keep playing juggling, juggling over there. So I think uh, um, no other country must be having this much passion, no doubt entire Europe and South America. Their main game is football, even in Africa. Mm -hmm. Africa, main game is football. But still, I think nobody can beat Brazil in this, yeah, as far as football is concerned. As like it was in Calcutta, we used to call it Mecca of Indian football. Very well. Uh, reason sure. being because of these these three, three big clubs, Mohan Bagan, is Bengal, Mohammedan. I I keep saying though I am not from Calcutta, but I keep saying that if these three, three clubs die, Indian football will die, because uh, people's passion are with these clubs. Mm -hmm. They don't eat if the if their team loses. This you will not find anywhere in the country. And you'll find the complete opposite of that if Brazil do win in Brazil, that entire country will just go yeah, crazy having an awesome party. Now, the fans, what are you going to be doing for the World Cup? What are you, where are you going to be watching the matches? I don't know. I know I'm going to be watching them, that's for a fact. And mm -hmm. so will we all. I don't think this time constraint thing is going to not come issue, in not the way. Nah, issue. it's the World Cup. Sir, the, the, the timings, are you, going to be, are you going to be up and at it 6.30 in the morning? I'll tell you one thing. Whenever, whenever I do commentary, I watch them again, whatever time it may be. Because without saying, I don't comment. Hmm. I believe in it. It's not that I see highlights and comment. No, I don't believe. Either I do a job. Uh, perfectly or I don't do it. So I, I have been there on uh, the air from 2006 onwards. So I have been doing a Euro Cup, um, uh, World Cup, two Euro Cup, two Euro Cup. So I used to remain awake in the night, watch up to three o'clock and get, go to the studio at seven o'clock again. Nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Really dedicated to the, to the sport. There's very few of you, sir, in the country who we can call true footballers. This is in my blood. My father was the national coach from 50 to 62. Incidentally, guys, the man who actually introduced India to the 442 way of play. Yes, it was a, it was a uh, flexible 442, which nobody started in the world. He started in 1956 Olympics. 
it was a football visionary we had we had a coach alberto fernando mm-hmm. who coached indian team sri lanka team he attended my father's training in 56 64 he went to brazil after returning he wrote an article in hindu he said what i learned under rahim in 56 is being taught in brazil in 64 verily he was a football prophet wow rahim sahab obviously known for changing the way the game was played in india back to the world cup then gentlemen What is your favorite thing about this World Cup that's coming up? What's the one thing that you would identify and be like, "Oh, I can't wait for this." It's just the euphoria, isn't it? We all wait for the start of the Premier League. We all wait for the start of the La Liga. Mm-hmm. We all wait. For the... But there's something different about a World Cup here when you know that when the season ends, there's something It's bigger to bring every up four years we get to yeah. yes at last. Sad um, though we don't have our country playing. We we would have been well. We would have been a different got, feeling altogether had we had India in the World Cup. Yeah, can you imagine? Can you imagine? But guys, we won't be there to hear this time around. We will I'll tell you. Next. It's very unfortunate. 50 t- 50 we were invited to take part. Unfortunately, yeah. at that time we used to play bare feet. Mm. Yeah. That was the reason why we the team could not go. There were other reasons but that this was the main reason. But I personally feel 56 60 62 we were quite capable of qualifying for the World Cup but we were not allowed to take part in the tournament. Oh. Boots are just Unfortun- a, unfortunate. It's a form of fancy fashion, accessory. If you ask me. In, fancy accessory. Be- because who needs it in Brazil? In fact, they're down on the beaches. They all, all the time. They, they samba it free and stuff 56, all the we, time. And 56, we we were fourth in Olympics. 60, we lost to Hungary by a goal. Drew with France, lost to Peru by two goals. We had reached European standard, mm-hmm. but we were not allowed to take part in uh, World Cup qualifying matches. Yeah, rather unfairly done by I would definitely say. That's a nice bit of trivia there from you, sir. I got another piece of trivia for you. In fact, you, Shetania, has picked the trivia for today. Would you like to talk us to th- through the trivia fact for today? Right. Can we have the graphic, please? I think let's start off basic with Brazil. With well, the best, one of the best Brazilian players ever to wear the Selecao jersey, Cafu, with 142 appearances. Appeared in three finals, winning two of them. Two of them as cap, one of them as captain. That's a nice way to sign off your international career. Oh, isn't why it? not? Why not? Why Appeared not? in three finals, win two, captain in one, got a touch of the trophy in all three. Yeah. She'll sure remember it forever. Happy man, happy days. This was an easy what the fact for you guys the, this time. Do let us know on Twitter with the handle and that is at India Post Live. But actually, forget that. Use the hashtag in your post live and use the hashtag WT Football because that's what we're using. That's what the football. That's what we're up to these days. We got plenty of tougher facts and some prizes also, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the show. You guys can check that out on our website. Right. So um, let's get to the news then. The news. The news. No, we can't copy. The news. Can't copy. Can't copy. <laughs> can't, can't, can't copy. <laughs> Cameroon having a bit of a yeah tough pride. times tough times in Cameroon they're being apparently well over a couple of bonus issues with the national team players have decided to stay in their hotels not get out to the buses not fly to not fly to Brazil and the Cameroonian media too have joined them by gathering a circus around the hotel so much so as the prime minister or the the head of Cameroon sent a plane for the his own team. jet a private jet now i don't know who, was it his own jet was it a chartered plane again lots of questions left mm. main thing being did the samuel state. samuel eto get a seat no alex <laughs> song and samuel eto decided their hotel beds were much more comfortable than those plane seats yes there we are well they know sad i don't, I don't that's, think that's, they're that's the only two you know they should have i reckon they could have probably got on board a bit more so wouldn't you think as the most uh, influential members of that team uh, alex song and uh, Samuel Eto should they not when there's a problem with the team they should have stood up more and been more vocal back in the team bigger men in the conversation yeah. but, very much. but you see the interest of the rulers of the country hmm. chancellor of germany goes to see the its team presidents go and watch the team so, during the world yeah. cup mm-hmm. particularly in the finals yeah. and all but do we have the same thing in our country unfortunately not We do not. The kind of incentives the kind of bonuses world cup hockey is being there the sports lacking. minister should have gone at least to boost our team yeah but no a little bit show of support Very this is the thing this is the main problem that we were actually we've been talking about why china was so successful at bringing their team up is that them the government and the institutions they came built up together india it's always been a, a struggle the institutions True. want to do the government doesn't support but it's a case of bad timing to be honest and a case because of it's bad on timing. the eve of the world cup your nation is bracing up for another another four years of hope 
yeah. and then you start off with such a damper you can only yeah. go further down you know it's true. true it's true but let's not be saddened let's be happy about the fact that robin almost got injured in training we don't like we don't like iron robin very much he's a bit of a you diver you want to say that over again you want to say that over again robin uh, almost got injured robin you like that almost That's got injured it's it's satisfying well, yeah. what, what was it you said you told me a great joke today Does what is it? the difference between aryan robin and time time passes <laughs> <laughs> fantastic yeah. fantastic anyway him and uh, um indy martins that's yes. right they collided during a bit of a training sesh and that's not a good thing because robin this is obviously his last world cup yep. um he won't be too happy you saw what happened against uh, ghana no no ghana who were they playing where he also You Ghana, almost, Ghana, was Ghana, Ghana, Ghana—the friendly. Uh, so uh, everyone Ghana. in training is also out to get Robin a little bit, but they um are. Louis van Gaal was not happy with the en- entire team during this bust up. Hence the hence the intensity in the training because apparently the coach is happy. The coach is taking none of it, and well, even before a ball is being kicked at the World Cup, the Dutch team are kind of self exploding at the not wrong really time. going Dutch. Yeah, they? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not really total let's, football. Let's hope. Let's hope. Hey, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Uh, well, I'm sure they'll get their stuff together shortly enough. Meanwhile, France is looking like it's got. Yeah. Stuff. They pull off an eight nil. Thrashing of Jamaica. Poor Jamaica. Poor guys. Bring bring any team. I think scoring eight goals in nine in ninety minutes is a feat in itself. Yeah. You, fair play. You, you need to still need to put the ball past the net eight so, times. Not really fair on Jamaica though. And we do have an interesting picture from the Chiller the Island and all. You know, they're yeah. just hanging out, man. You Hence, I think like the eight goals they kind of zoned <laughs> out in the middle of the game. Thinking, I think they're done. But so we could divide by two, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and we have you? a picture. Don't fade from. I I believe we I believe, I believe we send do. Send off. This was their warm send off. Their last game in France, right? No, we don't have it. I've got this voice in my ear going. No, we don't. Have it. Oh. So we don't Google it, guys. Check Google. it out. Check it out. Um, Colombia also fourth member of their squad are out. So as when you're you're preparing for a cup, if you if your team was to take more than four or five injuries, what? How do you how do you come back from that and how do you how do you work on that? It will definitely have an impact, no doubt about it. But there's still teams like uh, the, the, which have qualified for the World Cup. They don't have only eighteen twenty players. Mm-hmm. They definitely have reserves at their hand who okay, who okay, are equally good. So it matters. Say for example, if uh, Ronaldo is injured, it matters. But there will be somebody to play for Ronaldo, and these eventualities you have to be prepared for it. It's not that case where you can depend only on eighteen players. Or 20 mm-hmm. players. I, I personally feel I have I've been coached. I never give an excuse. So and so was injured. When you 30 players at, at your disposal, it is your duty to prepare them. All 30. Because God forbid, last moment three players get injured. What do you do? Yeah, you, you don't be, take part. You, you have be, to take part. Can't be relying on. One Therefore, you have that your duty of the coach. I, I believe you. I never gave an excuse whenever I lost. No, referee was bad. Players were injured. No, we played bad. We lost. As simple as that. Absolutely, and that says that's the game in its purest form. Um, we've got someone joining us finally. Uh, Siddharth joining us on Google Hangout. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, good, I'm good. How are you guys? Back then? All well, all going good in Delhi on your side. Um, we missed you earlier for the earlier question, and we wanted to ask all the fans talking and joining us uh, what you're going to be doing for the World Cup, where you're going to be watching it, and how you're going to be ce- celebrating, and who are you supporting? That was a lot of questions. Well, I'm supporting Argentina. That's Argentina. Yeah. Happy uh, days. <laughs> Amazing uh, attack. Um, Yeah, there's no nothing, nothing in the midfield. The defense is all right. But yeah, the attack is amazing. Best attack in the world at the moment. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be staying up late to catch the games live. I take it. I have to. Have there's to. There's no other way. Die-hard fans. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's a bold call to make. Though. Argentina, the Argentina? best attack in the world. Well, yeah, I mean, they have the. They have sure, they have a very options, good case. Who options. would you leave out if you were an Argentinian coach? Who would you leave? We 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 have this. We we tried to figure we tried to figure this play? out. We couldn't. Yeah, we we we, we, we essentially wanted us. 
what two eight one formation, but clearly that wouldn't work out yeah. in normal. We just like, forget the defenders. Let's just send like eleven attackers out there and just have a good time. The keeper also, you know, <laughs> take his they gloves off. Make a very, very bold the gloves on the feet. I have no word on the keeper because I don't want to say anything about the keeper. He's right. too good for that. <laughs> um, and what about what about your mates? Who, what's the general feeling with your with your friends? Who are most people supporting? Um, mostly the supporting Germany. Deutschland. Germany has got a very balanced team, but mm -hmm. when it comes to the semi-finals, when they reach there, that stage, I don't know what happens to them. Every time it's the quarter-finals or the semi-finals, they get out. They just lose it there. It's curses, it's curses, but perhaps also, I'm surprised that not many people have been buzzing about, usually, Spain, Spain, yeah, Spain, I was about to get very yeah, better. Where, where, where are those people in 2010? Nobody's talking about Spain. The, the Early, team earlier also, won when, back the, to when back. they won the World Cup first time, nobody expected Spain to win. Mm -hmm. Rather, in the finals, I was on uh, Sahara, if I'm not mm -hmm. wrong. I guess, you know, one player, ex Delhi State player, Santosh Kashyap, who's in Bombay, he said, We are die hard fans of Germany. I told when asked me, I said, If Spain keeps the ball on the ground, there's no chance for Germany. The moment it spread, raises the ball, Germans are very good in the air. And they did the same thing and they bet Germany. That's a, that's a very, that's very valid point. I, cannot, I could not agree more with that. I, but but I, I am still surprised at the absence of those Viva la España! Yeah, where yeah, are yeah, those people from 2010? Where are those glory hunters? I want Please, to find them out. The United fan calling out people glory hunters. Relax. Uh, they, they have again, no clubs. Players, so. Aditya, no. Clubs. No clubs, no clubs, sorry. Yeah. sorry, sorry. It's the World Cup. Fabregas, guys. Silva, Iniesta, they are all there. They're, 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 class they're it's excellent a, it's ball a, players. It's another excellent ball choice. Players. Again, who do you pick from that midfield? It's almost impossible to tell. Um, England. England got a bit of a... Um, do we have a, do we have that clip? I think I think we found that clip of their board um, and all the dirty notes that the manager had written down. Talk us through that, sir. Well, boom! <laughs> before before <laughs> I talk you through harsh, that, I don't guys, think this needs any harsh. talking through. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess Poor fellas, that's the team just landing in Brazil and being made fun of already. And oh, the dear. first game is against Italy, so I wouldn't mind leaving the engine running, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> These blue guys here in the bottom corner, the Italians just checking out this. Pierlo and De Rossi in disguise hey. scouting the. But if if we could just bring up the um the other one, the one of the whiteboard, and just talk us through that while they, the powers that be figure out. What so they need this to was out. right after the England Honduras game, their final game before they were again mm -hmm. being sent on a plane through. And this this board that we see had instructions, very very weird instructions about not talking about the Italy game. <laughs> go, go 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 back go back to the last one. Go back to the last one, guys. Don't, don't talk. <laughs> Italy. Italy. <laughs> Not at all. They said there should be no mention of the Italian game, no mention of the Falkland Wars, surprisingly. <laughs> they were actually trying to they were actually trying to give themselves a lot of encouragement by writing down that the possession was good, there were no injuries. See, I, I would like to add here one thing. Unfortunately, in our country, sports psychologists have no say. In yes. every country, I personally feel after the main coach, that is coach of football or hockey, whatever mm -hmm. it may be. The next person who is most important is the sports psychologist. psychologist yes. Because so psychology plays a very important yeah, role in, tempering in building a team and, and, and building a player. The, the young people Carl Lewis used to have a psychologist with him. Absolutely. So we don't have we, we don't have a role at all in psychology. A lot of heads are being turned you, 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 with the money. So you need yeah you need to have someone there because it's not just it's not just the physical effort you put in. It is also the mental strain yeah. that comes on the players. Dealing with things like if we they were to become super superstars, they How need they someone to keep them. Yep. See, counselling is very important. You can't have everyone turning out to be a Mario Balotelli. That's just oh. not good for football. What can we that's, say? That's not good for humankind, let alone football. The, you don't I, want a lot of Mario Balotelli. I agree, but if street. if Mario hears you, he's <laughs> gonna be down and he'll find you. And yeah. mind you, this is the guy who paints his ben painted his Bentley camouflage. Thing. Urban camouflage. Urban camouflage. camouflage. Oh my God, that's Urban the worst camouflage. of the lot, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe he did that, man. What a guy. Oh, right. Uh, He's gonna feature, so that's gonna be interesting. One person who is going to feature a lot is Diego's expensive friend. Or, well, siblings. This I is, don't know what this is now. Is he guys, related? It's the brazooka. I'd like to introduce you to Diego, Diego. as well. This is our friend Diego. <laughs> Sir, this is Diego. He's nice to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet No, he knows you. He doesn't like you. He likes me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get a room, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Diego. Uh, Diego and us. Diego whoever, and us. Right? Well, we are very excited because the brazooka, this is the family that Diego comes from. This is the ball that's being used this year. 
uh, for the World Cup. It's, it was brought out in September 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they came up with the name for it. And uh, a lot of good results, better, much better than the Javulani, which, yep. if I remember, was a disaster ball with it was swerving left, right and centre. Apparently, this they've got them down. Got them um, down and they've got a there. lot of um, good impressions from... Yep. Hey, Chris, some coats. Do you want to split the coats? Sure. Sure, because uh, Torres says it has a lot of colour in it, good shape. But l like, 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 we, like, like you said, it's all the added, it's all the added, all the added, all the added guys. guys. On them, yeah. So we got Messi there. We got, we got Alves. We got Torres, Podolski, Casillas, all. PK is vouching for it. Piquet. All of them are very, very formidable happy defender. With, yeah, Piquet. very, very happy with the ball, the way it's done. Did, did we get um, did, uh, did, um, the, what's it, it's the meaning of brazooka has just slipped my mind completely. Again, you're putting Anyone. me on the spot. Embarrassing, huh? Yeah. We're hosting a World Cup show. What is the ball Hey, mean? the World Cup's yeah. not started yet. This is true. We're warming up, guys. Yeah. We're also warming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last night, I saw on, uh, I think, Sahara, Alami Sahara, football manufactured in the Pakistan. Yeah. Ladies yeah. were manufacturing. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies were involved in it. That's true. why we have a legend Imagine. in the house yeah. telling us where it's I, made. The ah, yeah. Thousands of football are being sent to Brazil. Yep. And and they've been doing a good job. These that we've got here are not the fancy ones. The fancy ones are going to set you back a pretty penny. There's something like 15,000. 15,000. Like yeah. That's a lot for football. It's not a light wallet. That's no wallet. You might have to sell your wallet. Hmm? Yeah. To finance the 15 grand. True. And there's some talk of like an inbuilt camera system. Yeah, or something. yeah, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to be kicking a camera. I want to kick a football, to be honest. I'd like to just <laughs> kick a football and not a camera. I don't want to measure my free kicks. Oh, oh, am, I, am I going to ruin Cut. it? No. <laughs> Cut. You I can imagine doing that in the penalty. In the penalty, the, the penalty kickoff. All right. Cut. Cut. Let's do that again. You okay, see so. the craze of, for this game. We are crazy about it. Manufacturers are crazy about it. The entire world remains awake in the night to watch football matches. I think no other sports one another, except Olympics, where all it's sports are involved. Thing. No other it attracts so much of interest as football involved. It's the most popular sport on the yeah. planet and this is the biggest tournament. It's king of the sports. It is. It's the king, king of, of the sports. sports. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just, just get so passionate about We're getting, about there. That. We're, we're getting okay. there. It's close. It's 12th. 12th of June. 12th of June. 12th of June. Coming up, Brazil will be kicking off straight away. That will be fun, 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 fun. Guys, as I mentioned earlier, we do have a prize going out for a lucky person to win a trip to Brazil. I'm also going to be competing it in a wig and a moustache as well in case I I'll win. grow one and compete in it. <laughs> well, you, well, you, 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 you can do. You can just shave. You can shave half your face and half your hair, and then like pretend to be like that half half person. Then when you're here on the you're show, you can well. just do it from a you're side profile. Well. And then, you're trying well, aren't you? You know. Oh. I just want to see him shave half his head off. Okay. Because yeah. we were we were gonna make some bets. We were gonna make some bets. Well, betting is illegal, folks. But we were gonna make some friendly wages. Sportsmen and friendly, friendly, wages. friendly wages. Friendly wages. We did some research on the odds going out there. Let's take a look at all of them, shall we? Topping in that list, that top 10 was not what I expected it to be. Very, right? very surprising. With a, very, very surprising. Argentina being the, 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 what, the, the second, second best team to win the World Cup. Second best ahead team. of Germany, sir. Ahead, ahead of, of Germany. Germany. Doesn't that surprise you a little? Surprise, but uh, in South America, they may do it. Yeah. yeah, again, home, uh, home conditions, America, yes. they've, they've, they've got the climate, they've got the attack. Be Belgium is above England, France, Italy. Oh, all of I, agree Italy. With, I agree with about, Belgium. About Italy, Uruguay and Holland, my God. Yeah, I mean, they're doing so well. We we expect Belgium definitely yeah. not to be above those, but it's that just shows the kind, of, the kind of strength that they're about to potentially show. Sure. Can't wait. Coming back to Argentina, though, sir, and I'd like to, uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the interruption. No I, 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 we, we both were kind of reading throughout the day on. Uh, they were saying that Messi might flop at the World Cup and something of that sort. Do you think it, the it, reason Argentina are above Germany is because Messi is in the team? Mostly because of bet, him. Better no, no. Odds. He, it happens with any player. He couldn't do it very well in the last World Cup. It's mm. not essential that he will not do it this year. He, he, he might be like Barada and he may carry the team on his shoulders. Yeah, it's yeah. very much uh, possible. And that's what that's the reason uh, why they have been rated above Germany. Yeah, because I mean, it, even if you take Messi out of there, it, I think it should be the manager who's ashamed. If they should, if even when they're losing, they should be scoring. That's that's what. True, I they have to a. See out of they are very top heavy. They are striker heavy to the hilt. One more, and they'll turn into the Titanic. Completely, Brazil three to one straight out favorites. Germany six to one. 
Not bad. Spain, surprisingly, I mean, I would, I would have put it in two. This is a really interesting odds, actually. I would. I I was still surprised with the way England, France, Italy, and Uruguay stacked 25 to one. one. You you would like to think, sir, that Italy and Uruguay are not that bad bets, are they? No, Italy has to be above. And Netherlands, right? no. And yes. Netherlands, no. And, and France no, has got an easy. France Holland. has got an easy group. Oh, Holland. Yes. <laughs> Holland. I'm up to date, guys. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Holland. <laughs> Even yeah. again, sir, if not to win the title, I'm very sure the last five countries there have a very good chance of making up the quarterfinals, don't they? they? Got a very much, very much. I, I, Holland, see, every time they've qualified. Yes, yeah. so like, close, I, but no, so far. Last moment only they fail. Mm. But again, also this might because of be, be also because of them being clubbed in the same no, group. Most probably because, because of the present form. Yeah, and also the Netherlands and Spain because are linked in the Belgium, same group. Belgium, we never expected. Belgium, that's okay. Yeah. The for, first four teams are okay. Uh, but now, four, another four have to qualify. Yep. Absolutely, guys. Um, we are running out of time, but what I wanted to ask you is because I want to... Because the, the game that you guys are all going to be playing uh, on the India Post Live, which you should check out, which is to win a trip to Brazil. I repeat, win a trip to Brazil, not just like... Some you're not at the airport, Brazil. you're going to go to the Rio. You're going to go to Brazil, Brazil. Um, you will be selecting your dream squad, who you think is going to get the golden boot and all the, all the rules and the prizes are down and there are terms and Christians implied. <laughs> I couldn't do the fast No way. haircuts, no fake mustaches, are those a part of the condition? But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't give them my secret. <laughs> right, um, but, sorry, let me lose my chain of thought now. Right, um, do just participate and let us know what you think on Twitter, which is using uh, at India Post Live. Use the hashtag WTFootball, which is, stands for What the Football, which is what we are all about. Guys, your predictions for who is going to win the World Cup, starting with you, sir. Sir. Yeah, <laughs> you can only give one. One team. And whoever gets picked, the other person can't pick it. Only one team. Only one team. Not even two. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be strong. I don't know. I know what he's gonna pick. That's yeah. why, because I want to, because I, because I want to, I want, I want his to get ruined. Basically, <laughs> you, you pick it first, sir. So, so go on. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you to pick. Uh, sir. Let me meditate. <laughs> no, 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 I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and steal uh, Belgium before anyone uh, else does. That's mine. Uh, I, I think I think Germany. Brazil. Germany, Brazil. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and once again, nobody cared for Spain. Uh, no. Nope. Interesting, right? Tiki Taka is gone, isn't it? Tiki Taka is gone, but it's not actually gone. That is the Tiki Taka events you should check out in Delhi. If you are a resident of Delhi, you should check out the Tiki Taka events. The events are on Facebook. That's a great place where you can go and watch the games. They'll be streaming it on big TVs in farms and stuff, which is much better than sitting at home alone if you are a lonely person. Well, right. Thank you so much for joining us today for this first episode of What the Football. We will be back with much more. Some more people. Siddharth, thanks for joining us. I think we just forgot about Siddharth. He didn't care. Poor he fella. didn't bother. He me. hangs up a lot. He did it last time, so we don't care anymore. So <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> Otherwise, thanks again for watching, guys. Do tweet in and let us know what you think, your predictions for the World Cup. Play the contest. Play the game. Play the beautiful sport. It's the only sport, according to Sir. We agree. He agrees. In that case, take care. And good night.